Hello everyone, Captain Billy J here, and we're going to go on a ship tour of the Carnival Horizon. Starting off here on Deck 1. Uh, there's going to be state rooms here on Deck 1, uh, down the hallways, and also on Deck 2 there are just state rooms as well over here. Now if we walk down the hallway you'll see the regular rooms down that way and all the way down to the back of the ship. So deck one um, has state rooms. Deck two does have the family harbor lounge but you do have to have access for that so we will not go to um, deck two because you can't go inside. Um, we'll go up to deck three next. Uh, on deck three is the Meridian Restaurant, the Reflection Restaurant, Horizon Lobby and Bar, Carnival Ventures, and Guest Services, as well as some more state rooms. We're on the way to deck number three. Nice in the hallways that they have different uh, decorations. Like this is the Sydney Harbor and the uh, bridge. So pretty cool. Moving up to deck number three. So right here. Walking from the stairs in the elevators. And let's talk about the elevators. So these are smart elevators here. So let's wait any more fun easy one, two, three. Select your deck on a terminal, read your elevator car assignment, board your assigned elevator. You'll see each elevator has different letters. Over on this side, there's directions on how to use elevators. Multiple riders follow steps for each person in your group. For example, if there are five members in your group, select your deck number five times. You may receive different letter assignments. Anyway, so you see these different banks of elevators. This is the Horizon Atrium. Walking over here to the right, you'll see Carnival Adventures. This is your shore excursions desk. This is our Carnival Adventures. We also have the Internet Hub area over here. And this is the atrium or lobby bar area. It always changes colors inside. Got some music playing in the background. That's a nice seating area on the outside and also on the inside. This is the end of the last sea day. Going back in the port tomorrow. Uh, here is the Reflection Restaurant. I won't be able to show it to you, but you'll see uh, pictures of that now. All right, we're walking out of the Reflection Restaurant. We walk to your right. Past the staircase on your left. Some more seating on the outside. This, these doors are where you board when you come in in the morning. This is probably when you leave as well to these doors. Again, plenty of seating. And over on this side is guest services. So guest services is open 24 hours. If you have questions about your account and stuff like that, as guest services. And you'll find these machines, kiosks that you can Look at your account and put money in. And that is pretty much deck three, besides staterooms. And I believe we, uh, there's the other restaurant on the other side, which we won't be able to see right away, but I will show it to you, um, which is the Meridian restaurant, uh, which I will be showing to you that right now. Alright, so that finishes up deck number three. We looked at the Reflection Restaurant, Meridian Restaurant, Rise Lobby and Bar, Carnival Ventures and Guest Services, and there's also state rooms. Let's proceed to deck four, where there are more things to look at. So this is deck four. This is the mezzanine deck. We'll make our way past the smart elevators here. And that's the mezzanine in front of us. But first, I want to show you 
the entrance to the liquid lounge. So around the corner here, past the stairs, again, this is on mezzanine deck four, you find the liquid lounge. So this is the main entrance on one side to the liquid lounge. You find a lot of entertainment here. This is the liquid lounge. Uh, there are some doors that will lead to the life rafts uh, in case there is an emergency. We'll make our way across to the other side of the ship. There's some more doors to life rafts. And then here's the other entrance to the liquid lounge, which the doors are closed. Here's the inside. That's the inside of the liquid lounge. Pretty nice in there. Great seating. Uh, next to the liquid lounge, you find the fun shops. So this is the carnival store. Uh, they sell mostly this clothing in this store. They have quite the variety of merchandise. So that's the carnival store. And here is some seating here in the atrium level here on deck four. Plenty of nice seating uh, where there's entertainment going on in the atrium. All kinds of seats and then different uh, group seatings there. There's a little bar area to put your drinks on. Here's the atrium. The atrium bar is down below. Across from the way here is the port side liquor and tobacco. So this is a shop where you can pick up liquor as well as your cigarettes and smokes. It is closed right now. On the other side, uh, in between, is the Horizon Casino. Go check out the casino vlog that I put out uh, for this. Uh, and I'll walk you through the casino. Right by here is Hip Fish Watches, or the Invicta Watches. So, any of you watch fans out here, this is a great place to find your watches. So, there is some more seating here in the atrium level. So, plenty of seating here on a deck four. Uh, whenever they have live entertainment playing here. And right down here, this is where live entertainment is. So these are, they have like a string trio playing, or they'll have a guitar player, and all kinds of entertainment here playing in the atrium. So, pretty cool. All right, walking out of the casino. On deck four still, we'll find the sports bars over here. This is closed currently. But this is the Skyrox Sports Bar. Which they are currently uh, vacuuming. But this is the Sky Sports Bar. Check out your different sports activities um, in this bar. Alright, moving forward, we'll find some pixels photography along the way. Right here is the Live Light Lounge. This also turns into a dance club at night. So we got the Jeffrey dancing and pumping away in there. And also back here is the Meridian Restaurant. is back here. And conference room. So yes, this is the Meridian restaurant. I'll just kind of sneak through here. I've never been in this one. Uh, normally I go to the other restaurant for dinner. This is maybe like a fancier one. But this is the two level restaurant. So we've gone to Meridian Restaurant, we've gone to Lime Night Lounge. Uh, this Club 02, I don't know where that's at. Sky Sports Bar, Lower Promenade, Horizon Casino Bar, Resident Atrium Fun Shops. Over 
over here is the conference room. Over there. This is the back of the club, I believe. And maybe we make our way back. Let's try to find Club 02. Over here, I'm looking forward to find Club 02. Well, Club 02 is a teens club for ages 15 to 17. You're on deck four. And here is the entrance to Club 02. We'll be able to go in there. We'll be able to film in there. But that is Club 02 entrance. We're at midship here, so we'll walk through here and this is the midship. Right now we're in the middle of the Pixels Gallery. We'll go this way to the right. This is where you get your photographs of it. Right next to Pixels is Pig and Ogre. So we've got Flavor Town going on. We have bands you can set up in the corner. And stuff like that. Well, that's pretty nice. Too. And they brew beer here as well. So that's pretty awesome. And then there's a Pixel Studio. For those of you that like coffee, there's Jungle Blue Coffee, the cafe, so where you get your coffee and stuff. And this is Ocean Plaza. So they have Mosa Plaza Bar over here on the left. Over here on the right, this is where you'll find some trivia, um, dance classes, stuff like that. There's plenty of seating here. Stage area. But yeah, they've got plenty of seating. We used to have a buffet, but they don't have that anymore. But yeah, it's a nice area here. And they have access to the outdoors if you want. But yeah, plenty of chairs and seating. To the back here, we have the Havana Bar. We'll walk down the hallways. It's me, it's me, it's me, <laughs> where I'm from. That's right. Alright, so the Havana Bar will be that way. Their doors are open, they're not. Anyways, this is the Havana area, and you do have to have access to the Havana area to proceed. Rush from the Pixels okay, Gallery. We'll go down this way. And we have the Alchemy Bar, which we were at earlier tonight. Uh, great uh, bartenders there at the Alchemy Bar. And over on the right side is the Bonsai Shushi. Hi! Hello, my <laughs> Alchemy Bar! Woo! <laughs> Over here on the left side is the Steakhouse. This is 555 Fahrenheit Steakhouse. 555. It is in there. Nice food and seating in there. In the middle, one of those funnel things, and looking down into the casino. And as I mentioned, here's Bonsai Shushi Tikalaki. So, and inside here is the teppanyaki. This is where they will grill the food in front of you. Of course, they have the shades down so you can't really see in there. Oh, you might be able to see right in here. This is where the grill. Oops, the door is open on that. All right. 
request from Tepanaki is Piano Bar 88. So this is where the Tickle the Ivories are with the Piano Bar. So, nice little venue in here. Wasn't very popular tonight though. I didn't see too many people in there, but that is the Piano Bar. And over here, on the right, this is a library bar. You would think there would be a bar here, but there's not. Let's see if there's anybody in here. Be quiet. But there's some reading, some books that are here. here. That you can read. There's some tables that you can play games on. There's even more books over here. Usually they have games, but I don't see any games. But uh, yeah, just uh, some books. But they got checkerboards there. Got a nice little uh, venue if you want somewhere quiet to go to. Play a card game or something. And that takes us back into Upper Promenade here in the Atrium Lobby. I have one of those kiosks where you can manage your account, add money, change bills. And then over here we have the Front Street Fine Jewelry. So if you like jewelry, this is the place to come. This is in this place. And also Front Street Watches. All kinds of different watches. Keep fish fashion jewelry. So yeah, definitely uh, plenty of places for you to shop at on board. Yeah, we got Swarovski Crystal. Alright, this is deck 5 and this is the upper access to the Liquid Lounge. Is up here. And those are the doors that you can exit to, ex to enter the Lanai. And if we walk over to the other side, we should find doors as well to Liquid Lounge and to the Lanai. more doors to the Liquid Lounge and to the Lanai. Alright, moving along. This is the really carnival. Oh, it's a fun shop. Well, this is where you'll find most of your carnival merchandise is up here um, in this place. It's all kinds of different merchandise. So we're in Carnival's 50th birthday. And we'll continue. Um, for you ladies, there's Victoria's Secret here. In case you forgot your underwear. Get your underwear here. Now Victoria's Secret. Of course, we have perfume and cologne was in here as well. Fish Beauty. Right next to that is Cherry on Top. This is your candy store. There's all kinds of goodies. It also has a place where you can make your own sundaes in there. With cherry on Top, so that's pretty cool. And Captain Duck. Of course, they have an ATM as well, too. This is the upper part of the atrium. It changes colors. There is the band area there, there's the bar down below. Alright, so that was Promenade Deck 5. Um, there are staterooms on number 6, plus there's also the uh, the multiplex in the trail theater in Circle C and warehouse B arcade. So we need to go to deck six next. Deck six, you'll find some 
for comforting because this is where you will enter for the thrill theater and multiplex and IMAX theater. So they have touch screens you can touch and pick movies and stuff from. But yeah. And of course theaters are closed. But this is the thrill theater on this side. It's where you will enter. And I believe on this side is the IMAX theater. The IMAX theater. So this is where you go to enter the IMAX theater. And I will show you some pictures of both theaters. That is the Carnival Multiplex. So this is over here is Circle C and the warehouse. So find all your different arcade games here in the warehouse. Deck seven now. I was on deck six. We took a look at the warehouse view arcade and circle C and the multiplex lobby. And that's pretty much it. Now on seven, eight, and nine, there are just state rooms. So we will not go to eight or nine. We're on seven right now. So we need to go up to deck ten, which is the Lido. So once you press the 10, I will tell you what letter of elevator you get to, you get in there. I'll tell you what decks you're going to, we're going to deck 10. So deck 10. Just getting off of deck 10. We will proceed to the Lido area. Or the pool. They call it the resort pool. So we'll continue to walk through here. Lock the doors, get ready to feel the humidity. And it's wet. Anyways. At your towel station, you got the Red Frog Rum Bar over here. Over here, you got Blue Iguana, all the spray down. You got Blue Iguana. Trying not to get a the guy. is a little salsa bar. It's where you get your tacos and burritos for breakfast. And of course they have juices and ice water over there. We're we'll going to the Vito Marketplace. Beverage station on the left. The phase over to the left as well. This is the buffet uh, area. One of them. Lots of breakfast set up over here. This is where your breakfast grill is. Omelets, you want your omelets, they're getting done here. And more continental breakfast on this side. Good night, guys. Good night. 
go way too, but we don't like the place. I mean, it's kind of receiving. It's got a little warm up here at times. Because the door is opening up to the pool. Gotta watch out for sick floors. Don't want to slip and fall. There's a nice seating over here on the right. And we'll continue making our way. These are live leaves up here too. Back here, another buffet area. And they have a beer station. So I do have a beer station. So they've got the IPA parched pig and they've got the thirsty frog red. Alright, left the screw and we'll continue. I will upstairs is GG's and continue with that tunnel, we'll come back. And we'll make our way out to the tight. This is the back of the area. This is where the pool and the hot tub are back here. They were cleaning so I won't get in their way too much. But then there's through here. This is uh, Gigi's to the left over here. And then over here on the right is Cucina del Capitano. Just finished up deck 10. Um, deck 11 doesn't have anything but staterooms, GGA's and Kitchen, Cucina Rusa, Camp Ocean and Dr. Seuss Bickville are not able to look at Deck 12 is the Spa Fitness Center, which I will show you a video of that already. Um, otherwise, um, on Deck 14, there's a Cloud 9 Spa and Salon. Um, and on the very top deck is the Serenity area, which you can't see at night very well. But then they have the Clubhouse and the Sports Square, Sky Rides, Sky Course, Sky Fitness, and Sky Court on the back of the ship. There's also the Dr. Seuss Waterworks. But those are the outdoor activities here on the Carnival Horizon. Now that about wraps up the ship tour here on the Carnival Horizon. So quite a few things to see and do here on the Carnival Horizon. And um, we're on the tour here. Thank you guys for watching. Do make sure you hit the thumbs up button, hit subscribe, and click that bell notification to be notified of when I post a video like this or go live. This is Captain Boy Jay signing off. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey, did you love that video? Well, you're going to love this video right over here. Check it out. It's related. And check out all my other travel videos as well. Captain Billy Jay out.